Hello, today we are going to talk about whole number applications. We already talked about whole numbers and kind of how to use them in operations, but now we're going to apply them. So our first addition problem is that Hal earned grades of 87, 93, 68, 95, and 89 on the five tests of the semester. What is the total number of points he earned on the five tests? Well, you might have already guessed from the fact that we're doing addition that we're just going to add up these values. So I'm going to take 87 plus 93 plus 68 plus 95 plus 89. Now, something that I like to do actually is to break these out. So I might do like um, 87 plus 93 separately. So that's going to give me 17, 18, 180. I'm going to write that there. That's 180. Then if I have 68 plus 95, this will be 13, 15, 16, 163. And then I can add these together. So I'm going to have 180 plus 163, 14, plus, I can't forget this 89 here. 12, 12, 13, 432. Oops, 432. And that'll be our answer. Okay, another problem that you might encounter. Find the perimeter of the patio shown. The perimeter is just the distance around something. So if this is a patio, we've got four feet, nine feet, two feet, three feet, two feet, six feet. So we're just gonna add that up. So I'm gonna do nine plus four. I know that that's 13 plus six. So plus six is gonna give me 19. I'll just cross these out as I use them. Plus two, gonna give me 21. Plus three, gonna give me 24. Plus another two, gonna be 26. So the perimeter of this patio is 26 feet. Can you see that okay? All right. We also can use applications with subtraction. So here we have the high temperature in, on June 1st in Boston was 77 degrees Fahrenheit, and the low temperature was 58 degrees Fahrenheit. What was the difference between the high and low temperature? Well, we know that difference refers to subtraction. So we're gonna just take 77 degrees minus the 58 degrees. Do a little subtraction here. So this will be nine. So the difference is 19 degrees Fahrenheit. Likewise, and maybe a little bit more interesting, a television set is on sale for $499. Its regular price is $648. What's the difference between the regular price and the sale price? We're just trying to ask ourselves, how much money are we really going to save here? So we're going to take $648 and subtract $499. So this will become a 3. 18 minus 9 is 9. This will become a five. That's a 13 now. 13 minus nine is gonna be four. Five minus four is one. So our difference, we're gonna save $149. All right, we can also apply using multiplication. Humberto bought four sheets of stamps. Each seat ha sheet had 20 stamps. How many stamps did Humberto buy? So if he has 20 stamps on each sheet, he's got four sheets of stamps. We're going to take 20 times 4. So that's going 0 times 4 is 0. 2 times 4 is 8. He's got 80 stamps. Right. Van is planning to build a patio. He'll have eight rows of tiles with 14 tiles in each row. How many tiles does he need for the patio? So he is going to take 14 times eight, four times eight is 32, eight, add that three, nine, 10, 11, he's gonna need 112 tiles, okay? I wanted to do this problem because I think it's uh, some of the, the language that we ran into the other day. A college choir has twice as many women as men. There are 18 men in the choir. How many women are in the choir? So if we have twice as many women as men, that means we basically have double. So we're going to take 18 men times twice means two. So we're going to take 18 times two. Eight times two is 16. 
2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So we have 36 women in the choir. And finally, we'll discuss division. Marcus is setting out animal crackers for snacks at the preschool. He wants to put nine crackers in each cup. One box of animal crackers contains 139 crackers. How many cups can he fill from one box of crackers? So uh, we're going to take 135 crackers. That's how many he has in the total box. And we're going to divide by nine because that's how many he's going to put in each cup. And we want to figure out how many cups is he going to create. So nine cannot go into one, but nine can go into 13 one time. So one times nine is gonna be nine. Now I subtract, 13 minus nine is four. Nine does not go into four, but it does go into 45, I bring down the five. And nine goes into 45 five times. So he's going to be making 15 cups of crackers. Andrea is making bows for the girls in her dance class. Each bow takes four feet of ribbon and 36 feet of ribbon are on one spool. How many bows can Andrea make from one spool of ribbon? So she's got one spool of 36 feet. She needs four feet per bow. How many bows can she make? We know actually that four goes into 36 nine times, so she can make nine bows from one spool of ribbon. All right, that's it for applications, and we, I will see you in the next lesson.